Perspectives from the Front Lines, Voices of Transportation. We have huge transportation infrastructure needs in this country. Uh, the, the amount of funding that comes out of Washington doesn't even come close to meeting our needs. And so the, uh, the six-year reauthorization bill, of course, is a major bill for us. Uh, the problem we face this year is that the, the till is dry. The Highway Trust Fund, which is the funding source for the program, uh, doesn't have the resources in it that it needs. And, of course, we're, we're in a, a tough economic time, um, and so it's going to be a, a very difficult, heavy lift for Congress uh, to come up with the revenue that's needed. What do you see, what does your organization see as the viable solutions for the path forward? Well, there are a lot of a lot of solutions to the problem. I don't think that there's any one silver bullet. Um, there's a variety of funding sources out there. Um, we've we've relied on the highway user fee as the main funding source for the program. That's that uh, the money that goes into the highway trust fund and gets redistributed to the states. Uh, there are a variety of other funding sources that need to be tapped: private private funding, uh, tolling, uh, bonding, uh, infrastructure banks. There's a variety of things out there. Uh, but Congress needs to step up to the plate and recognize the fact that they need to increase revenue into the program. And if they don't do it? Well, if they don't do it, uh, we're not going to solve our problems. Uh, not safe, safety is one issue that needs to be addressed, but it's also uh, just quality of life. People don't like sitting in traffic. Uh, it's an environmental issue. When cars are stuck in traffic, they increase emissions. Uh, they lower their fuel efficiency, and that impacts the, uh, the environment. Uh, and then there's co competition, global competition. Uh, our competitors all over the world are rebuilding their transportation infrastructure and that's what gives us the competitive edge and we're going to lose that competitive edge if we don't keep up.